we just got the biggest quest update that is bringing some crazy new features. So let's dive right into it. With the first long awaited feature that is finally back being the lying down mode, which makes it possible for the user to lay down on their bed without it affecting their VR experience, which is great if you want to watch movies or just sit in a more relaxed position while playing your VR games. And of course, this is also great for those who cannot walk or sit in the first place. But interestingly, Meta already added this feature once beforehand, but without any reason why, got rid of it completely. But since a lot of users have requested it ever since, it is great to see that it has finally found its way back. However, it turns out that this feature is only available for Quest 2 and Quest Pro. That means Meta didn't unlock it yet for their Meta Quest 3, which is quite strange since you would think that their new headset would get these brand new features first. However, it will most likely still be added on a later day. But one big feature that the Quest 3 did get was a huge update for PC VR gaming because the newly renamed Meta Quest Link app now includes support for 120Hz refresh rate on Quest 3. And this is a big jump from the previous maximum, which was clocked in at 90 Hertz. Now to enable this option, you simply have to head over to your PC VR software and it should update automatically if it was already pre-installed. And then once you connect your Quest 3 to your VR capable computer, you will be able to change the refresh rate in your graphic preferences. And additionally, Meta has also expanded its list of supported GPUs to include the NVIDIA 4000 series. So if you are rocking one of these crazy graphics cards, then you can now finally also unlock its potential for VR gaming. But probably the biggest feature that came with this is that thanks to this brand new update, Meta managed to increase the battery time usage over 50%. And that specifically for PC VR gaming. That means that beforehand, while using your Quest 3 with Airlink to play a game like for example Half-Life Alex, you could only play up to 1 hour and 30 minutes on a single charge with your built-in headset battery. But now, thanks to their massive update, this can be pushed out to 2 hours and 20 minutes instead, almost adding a full 60 minutes of gameplay without needing any extra hardware. But you might be wondering, how is this even possible to improve wireless streaming if your computer is the one that is doing all the work? But the actual reason behind it is quite simple. Because while your PC is doing all the heavy lifting, such as rendering your game, your headset also has to receive and decode it at a relatively high frame rate. And this improvement came recently after Valve announced their own alternative for Quest Link called the Steam Link for Quest app. So this might have inspired Meta to put on some more focus on their own streaming technology, which resulted in this major improvement. And a smaller yet still important big difference that came with all this is their newly announced Quest Cash with this new system now completely replacing their Meta Quest 2 gift cards, giving you a much easier overview of your balance, while also enabling users to gift or receive Quest Cash from others. Also, if you made it so far and you like these kind of updates, then show it by giving a big punch on that like button. But sadly, this update also came with some bad news, because it also removed access to scoped storage. And to quickly translate that, this would normally allow folder access for things like game modding, which they suppose mostly did for security reasons, but will have an impact for those who are depending on big mod support for games like Questcraft or Bone Lab, because this could mean that the mods that are currently available for these games will become completely non-functional. However, this is not yet set in stone, so we can hopefully find a way around it to still make it work. But that was not the only thing that Meta is taking away, because they are also deleting all the official Oculus accounts that have not yet changed to their Meta profiles instead. And since all users already had to switch to their new profiles to even be able to use their Quest or Rift headsets, it is for inactive users that haven't logged in ever since that are now on their last chance. Because if they would not migrate their account as soon as possible to the newly meta profile, then this would result in completely losing all your apps or purchases. So if your Quest headset has been catching dust for a couple of years, or you haven't logged in for a while, then do make sure that you are set up for their new meta accounts. Because once they deleted it, there is sadly no going back. But that's not all, because the Quest 3 has even more cool new features. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out on them. And of course, stay awesome.